Hey guys, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share with you a layout for the Hip Kit Club design team. Now, I have been challenged to participate in the weekly sketch challenge. Now, this was really interesting for me because I actually designed this sketch. And in hindsight, I thought a sneaky way to do it would be create the layout, then design the sketch. <laughs> So then you don't make the sketch too tricky for your own skill. <laughs> so as you will soon see here, I, um, I set about trying to do a day in the life sketch challenge, uh, you know, thinking, thinking about my own sketch, but also thinking uh, I took lots of photos that day, but I didn't put many spots for photos on the sketch. <laughs> So I thought I would just go with the flow and do my own interpretation, hence why you see me having culled all those photos that, you know, the ones that I've backed are the ones I'm going to use, but I had to cull some of the photos of the day. I'm not too worried about that because I scrapbook project life, so I know that those moments and memories will be well documented in my project life album as well, so I feel good about that but feel free that if you're going to take up this day in the life challenge this sketch challenge to add as many photos of you like and the, the thought had crossed my mind that I might actually do a double page but for you guys here today I'm only sharing a single page layout because uh, I was bamboozled by the whole concept and I did it to myself because I designed the sketch <laughs> But anyway, so as you can see here, I've got a beautiful base page here, which is from the Heidi Swap Color Fresh collection. And then I'm incorporating elements from the new Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Sunny Days collection. These uh, parasols, I, th I think that's what they're meant to be, parasols were perfect to co like sort of tie in and tie in the day, tie in the photos, help them link with each other so there's not a big gap. So I just wanted to fussy cut them out and then thought I will start embellishing. Here's the beautiful ephemera pack that is an exclusive pack for the Hip Kit Club designed by Kim Watson and I thought I'd have a little fiddle and see what little bits and bobs out of there that would accent my day and you know that little camera there was so cute and the sunglasses there was it was such a great great little pack because um, the day it was it, it was action-packed I woke up had a great coffee in the morning looked out it was a really misty morning so I captured a, a shot of that my little puppy posed for that shot just there in the bottom and then I was off to the cross country for my daughter off to the athletics carnival for my son and then off to ballet lessons in the afternoon. I did manage to squeeze in a walk that day as well. So I myself and my puppy met my sister and my nephews down on the riverbank and while my daughter was at her ballet lessons, I went for a beautiful long walk along the riverbank there. And the last photo that you see there is of my two of my beautiful children, one who doesn't like his photo getting taken, hence why he's hiding there, and my gorgeous daughter who has no issues with getting her photo taken. <laughs> Uh, thankfully. Um, so that's sort of a bit of a snapshot of my busy day. So being so busy, I thought let's go super crazy on the embellishments and the ephemera. That there is the Colour Fresh ephemera. I only have just got my March kit, so I was really wanting to sort of save those Colour Fresh ephemera pieces there. So I think that's what I end up doing. Nothing comes out of the Colour Fresh kit because I'm going to save those for some future layouts there. So I know you're thinking, what is she doing now? What is she doing? I'm checking right now. I just check, took a photo of it just to double check and I've made a big mess. But what I realized by putting all that on there with that really beautiful patterned paper, I was kind of losing the photos and the embellishments within that background. It was just all a little bit too busy. So I've grabbed out some white gesso and I'm just going to make a sort of a, a like an opaque finish across the top. But then I realised, no, I really want to punch this out. So in certain areas, I've grabbed some white acrylic paint to just sort of really blot out some of those sections, which as you'll see in a minute was the right thing to do because those photos and embellishments really jump off now. 
well they will in a second when you watch it that's a little brush that I use. Some people use a credit card to apply uh, your gesso and your different mediums, but I've just grabbed that little little um, sort of a spatula thing. I just picked it up at Riot Crafts Place. It was only a couple of bucks, and that is a really good little tool to have because you don't sort of get many lines. By having that smooth edge, you don't have those brush strokes through your gesso or your white paint, so that's a nice little that's a nice little tip there. Here I am fumbling around trying to get my photos the same way that I had them before I swept them off the page. But I'm sure if you guys have ever done that, you know that the layout never turns it back out the way you had it. But the general idea still comes together, which is really good. My talented children, Katie came 8th in the cross country, it was a super hot day and then Jackson, he is my little super speedy short distance runner, he came 2nd in the 100 and the 200s, I'm super proud of them and all the, the effort they give to their sports and their commitment. As you can see I'm getting a bit painty, there's white paint going on all over my fingers and that's because... I was too impatient <laughs> to wait for the gesso and the paint to dry and I just knew what I wanted so I wanted to get into it and I don't like using my heat gun at the moment because in our really humid weather here at the moment our, my papers are really curling on the edges so I tend to opt for the oh well it's too wet option <laughs> I'm just going with it anyway but I knew I'd be covering up most of it so it wasn't wasn't a worry. So the photos, you saw me earlier when I began blabbering on about other things other than the process. <laughs> um, I really wanted them to pop off, so I wanted, but not make them too big because I knew I needed to fit them on the page. So I just mounted them in some uh, a small border of white paper there and to make them sort of pop off and, and stand out a, like amongst the, those busy embellishments, I just used a fine tip pen to create a border around each of the photos. Now, I realise I've just been saying pop off <laughs> a few times now. So pop off, uh, I've had a few uh, comments on my other videos I've posted on my channel about my terminology in using pop off. <laughs> But I just really want to highlight them and make them stand out from off the page there, not literally pop off. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, I'm just playing around here with him with the embellishments and this has been a really fun layout to put together I really haven't overthought it I'm just playing around and with designs like this where you really want heavily embellished features you do have that freedom to be able to you know use up half an ephemera pack and you know and, and in thinking this is probably a really great design for when you're kit busting and using up all those goodies that you have laying around or that are from past kits that are, are not being used. So really just having fun, going embellishment crazy and, and, and you watch it come together. As long as your colour tones are all in theme, I think you can't really go wrong this way. I love just popping pretty things around. Butterflies, stars, flowers, camera, sunnies. How cute is that pink and navy bow? Well, bright, well, it's not navy, but you know, that, that royal blue bow there. All these things just made this layout come together and I couldn't be more happy. Now, next I'm moving on to my title. Now, in our March kits, we got this great epoxy font. Uh, it's And I knew that it would help with my black and white photos and my little black accents of dirt like those the ephemera pieces to really you know stand out but uh, also blend in to to the theme of what this layout sort of coming together like now when you're using when I'm doing multiple words in a heading I often do this little trick just to make sure it's going to fit in the space that I want it to fit in so just using a piece of plastic or ephemera or just even a plastic ruler you can just clip your um, your alphabet along the edge and that 
in, in the way that you would like it. And then you can sort of just run it along and then you know it's going to fit. You know you've spelt all the words correctly and it will look just the way you want. It, you had hoped it would look. And so there you go. I've got that in that perfect position by doing that in the centre of my layout there and I'm starting to think about adding those extra little black spots here and there. We also got some beautiful gold doodlebug washi tape in this in this month's kit. I just wanted to add a little bit of, I just wanted to play with it really. And so I squeezed a bit in there, top and bottom, which sort of bordered that, the, um, bordered that, that run of embellishment and photos there. It, it did look nice where it was sort of running off the page and it did sort of feel as though the day was continuing by me not bordering that. But I thought just by adding those little bits of gold there that it sort of came together a little bit more. When I saw this beautiful pink and black flower there, I knew that it had to be incorporated into my title. I, I just sat it there and I thought, yes, that's that's absolutely perfect. And at this point, I was really just having fun, using as many embellishments as I wanted and sort of making this really pretty fun layout, really. That's all, that's all, that's all I was trying to do. Um, I'm also thinking about my journaling and so how that's going to, how am I going to journal but not take away from that, th that sort of concept that I'm working with on the, with that run down the page. And I knew that I had applied some gesso just near the title there that had run further than I had uh, expected it to in my you know, very <laughs> time, you know, to, oh, I, I obviously, clearly I do not take a lot of time when gessoing or think about it overly a lot and I just sort of brush stuff everywhere and that's what I'd done then. I'd moved that gesso right over to that side and I knew that I had that space so I thought, yep, that's where I'm going to add my journaling. So thinking about it, I knew that I didn't have that too much space but I wanted just to capture a little bit about each of the moments of the day. So just quick points there. Uh, I've, I've done some close-up photos that you can see at the end of the, the video so you can see how I've just said you know, we've got a busy day, um, Jackson and Katie highlighted their sport and the achievement at their sport, um, you know, just just really just documenting in simple sentences, but really captured a whole day in just a really small space. I encourage you to use your handwriting on your pages. Not only does it add that sort of, you know, homemade feel but it's also lovely that in years to come when your family your children are having a flick through your albums they can actually see what your handwriting's like and it also it just adds that little bit extra meaning especially when the thoughts and sentiments that you're writing in your journaling are probably delighting in them and or maybe sending some advice to them and if it's in your handwriting then that makes it all the more special there so as you can see I'm just checking the date out there on my phone just to make sure I had the right date because I'd taken these photos a few days before and I find in my busy life days merge together and as you can see before I was just adding some extra little um, touches with my black pen just by creating my own little stars there which sort of added those little you know little bits of specialness around the page and sort of bring it all together this here, I'm just going to do some splatters of some yellow shimmers that came in a pass kit. I unfortunately didn't get the colour kit this time. I um, wanted to buy my little girl a present of the main kit instead, but I knew that I had lots of beautiful colours from pass kits in my stash. So there you have it. There's my layout, all finished. A super fun layout that I encourage you to give this sketch challenge a go and document a day in your life. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. Thank you.